Hey everybody, this is Coach D here again with TackleTrading.com, longtime trading expert and options aficionado. So excited to have you here so we can talk about the options Greek known as Delta. stay till the end of this video, you're going to have a really clear understanding of how the delta works and how it affects the option premiums on both calls and put options. And you'll also have the opportunity to click on the link for the next video at the end of this one so you can learn about the next Greek and you'll increase your understanding that way. If you haven't yet, click on this link here to download the Tackle Trading Options Greek Guide to help you with your studies. Now you'll recall from the previous videos in this series that the options pricing model is known as the Black-Scholes model and that there's five key variables inside that Black-Scholes model. The delta for the direction the price moves up and down, the theta for time decay, vega for volatility, gamma is the velocity, the rate of change of the delta, and rho is current risk-free interest rates. Now in this particular video, we're gonna be focusing on the delta. Again, D for delta, D for direction. It's how sensitive the option premium is to changes in the underlying asset. Specifically, the delta measures the sensitivity of the option premium to a change in the underlying asset, the stock or the ETF or whatever the underlying asset is. The delta is the ratio at which the option premium changes when the price of the underlying asset changes at a $1 increment. So whether the stock price moves up or down in $1 increments, that is how much the delta will affect the premium when you look at it. Now, if we were to look at a call option specifically, a call option has a delta that is positive. Now that little triangle symbol you see here is the Greek symbol for delta. And when you buy a call option, the delta is positive, which, which what that means is it will increase the option premium if the stock price goes up, but it will decrease the option premium if the stock price goes down. So it benefits from an upward movement in price. The delta of an option can range between 0.0, .0 for way out of the money options all the way up to 1.0 for in the money options. On the flip side, a put option the delta is negative when you buy a put. When you buy a put, the delta is negative. And it too can have a ratio anywhere between 0.0, .0 all the way way out of the money, all the way to negative 1.0 deep in the money. And if we look and control for some of the variables, it's easy to understand the delta. So if we were to look at a change in the underlying asset price, either up a dollar or down a dollar, and we bought a call option with a delta of 0.65, five, we can look at how those numbers play out. It's really easy to understand. If we were to see a change in the underlying asset price, so let's imagine for a moment that the stock price is at $50 even, and the option premium, the call option we buy, the in the money call option with a delta of 0.65, that premium is $3, well, if we saw the stock price rise $1 from 50 to 51, and we have a delta of 0.65, a positive delta on that call option, well, that option premium is going to go up 65 cents or 65 cents on the dollar. Now, that does not account for the gamma, which can change the delta a little bit. But for a quick rough estimate, if we have a delta of 0.65 and the option and the, and the underlying asset increases $1 and it's a positive delta, the option premium goes up 65 cents. Conversely, if the stock price were to drop $1, the option premium would go down 65 cents. Again, about 65 cents on the dollar. Now, again, that doesn't account for the gamma, which can change the delta or that rate of change. But ballpark, that's how a delta works. So when you buy a call option, you have a positive delta, an increase in the price asset, or a decrease in the price asset at an increment of $1 will change the premium up or down about one delta. Now, if we look at that on a put option, when you buy a put option, the delta is negative. And in this case, a delta of negative 65 means you're buying an in the money put option. And if we were to look at the same numbers, an asset price of $50 and an option premium of $3, well, if the stock price rose $1, 
the premium would drop 65 cents because this delta is negative and an upward movement in price will adversely affect the option premium. If on the other side of the coin, the stock price were to drop to 49, dropping $1, and you had a negative delta of 0.65, the option premium is gonna go up to 365. Now, if we look at the, how these numbers work in context on an options chain, we're looking at Apple Computer Options Chain. We're showing about four strike prices, and we're showing you that the delta column, you can see that each of those strike prices, if you look at the strike prices here, you got a 195, a 200, a 205, and a 210 strike price. Well, each of those deltas is unique. And you can see that the delta for the 210 is 42. Uh, then the delta for the 205 is 0.50. The delta for the 200 is 0.58. The delta for the 195 is 0.65. That's a good example of a 0.65 delta. So again, 65 cents on the dollar. You'll notice that those deltas are positive. If you look over at the put side, each of those strike prices also has their own delta. And you'll notice that there's a little negative sign next to them. The other thing you'll notice is if you look at the call delta and the put delta and you added them up together, they usually get you to about 1.0. That's ballpark. It's a little bit inefficient there, but on average, it'll add up to 1.0. So now you have a much better understanding of what you're looking at on an options chain. You can see the delta. Again, delta is how sensitive the option premium is to a change in the underlying asset price of $1. And again, there are other variables playing into that option premium in real time. The vega, the theta are all factoring in. The gamma and the rho get factored in. The delta and the stock price, as we've learned in this video, are directly correlated when we see that $1 movement in the stock price, we know that the option premium is gonna change at the rate of delta. And those numbers get pumped into the Black-Scholes model and the option value, the amount of the premium, will get spit out of that little model. And we can use it for theorizing or projecting future prices, or we can simply use it to help us understand the potential risk versus the reward when we buy options and sell options, of course, as well. If you like this video, make sure you click like down below and share. Share this with your friends because we love sharing information. And make sure you click on this link here to watch the next video on the Options Greek Theta. And I'll see you there.